Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a countdown timer with Sigbar. By the end of this video you will be able to do this. So let's get started. Create a new project in Android Studio. Let's change this layout to linear layout. Let's create the layout. Click start underscore timer and press alt enter and create the method in main activity. Declare object references. Define a boolean to store counter active state. Get handles for views. Copy your audio file in raw directory under RES. I am setting the upper range of the SIG bar with 300 since I want the max limit to be 5 minutes or 300 seconds. You can change this to whatever you want. I am setting the current default progress with 30 for 30 seconds. Attach set on SIG bar change listener to get notified of the user's actions. On progress changed method is invoked if the progress level is changed, call a method here and pass progress as parameter to update the text view. Create the method in main activity. Divide progress by 60 to get the minutes. Divide progress by 60 and get the remainder for seconds. If the value of seconds is less than or equal to 9, print a leading 0 if you want to show seconds in 2 digits format. Update SIGBAR and the text view. Next, define the start underscore timer method. If the flag counter is active is false, we will make it true. Disable the sig bar. Change the button text from start to stop. Next, we will instantiate the countdown timer object. Android countdown timer class is used to schedule a countdown until a time in the future defined by the value you specify with regular notifications on intervals along the way. 
In the constructor for countdown timer, you need to specify two things. Number one, the number of millis in the future from the call to start until the countdown is done and on finish is called. And number two, the interval along the way to receive on tick callbacks. We will overwrite on tick and on finish methods. In our case, on tick callback method is fired on regular intervals of one second. An on finish callback method is fired when the timer finishes. Call update method here to update the text view and sig bar every one second. Here call a method to reset all the variables, views and cancel countdown timer. Optionally, you can play a sound effect to indicate that the timer has completed. Call reset method in the else statement. Define the reset method. In on pause and on destroy, if the counter is active, flag is true. Then cancel the countdown timer. Run the app to check the output. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.